Today is a very special day. So today in April, we're going to be discussing batteries. Now, if you're probably already aware, this channel makes videos all about electric vehicles and electric cars. So we're going to be discussing specifically about how this new battery chemistry that's just been discovered can really, really boost the way electric cars work. Now, this new battery chemistry, if you haven't already heard of it, is called Unicom. It's a very, very rare material that's made actually from an organic product from a very rare breed of horse using that horn from that horse in particular grounded up and this is used in the chemical reaction to make these unicom batteries. Now these unicom batteries are even better than lithium because they have many many benefits that lithium just can't do at the moment. They can charge in seconds, fastest charging you've probably ever ever going to be able to see and as I mentioned before they're completely renewable. This horn from this very rare horse can be grounded down very slightly without harming the animal and this dust into the batteries just makes a complete and utter difference to the way the chemistry behaves. It not only can it charge in seconds, there is literally no degradation, which means that these batteries should last forever. Now the Unicom chemistry has a higher C rate curve, which means not only does it charge faster, but we can actually go faster. We can actually take the power out a lot quicker, which means you can easily get to 88 miles per hour <laughs> and go back to the future with these cars. Now, the Unicom battery and lithium batteries, we've always seen new chemistry, sodium chemistry and stuff like that. Now, I think that this battery maybe probably will disappear maybe by tomorrow when it's less topical. But what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Do you think Unicom batteries are the new future of battery chemistry? If you want to learn more about batteries and chemistry, then check out this video I did with a real expert, Dr. Ewan McTurk.